One of my favorite messages all year long is the annual Christmas message. When I can talk with you and I can send through the television my love to you and your family and uh, thanksgiving that you're part of my life and uh, part of the Positive Christianity family. How much I wish you a very, very Merry Christmas, the best Christmas ever. I pray that you have a joy-filled life. With joy, I share this Christmas message with you. I ask you to take a moment, one of stillness in the middle of your busyness, to bask in the spirit and the wisdom of this message. To counteract the countdown of this season, so many days until Christmas, so many days left until the end of this year, I decided to count up, and I ask you to join me. Count up, high up. A billion struck my fancy for this year's Christmas meditation. Now this gave me a surprising perspective. We are closer than I thought to that historic silent night of Bethlehem. A Benedine monk once shared these words, and I share them with you. It was the inspiration for this. A billion, it has a nice ring to it. It feels good when on the tip of my tongue I say billion. But who could ever visualize such a gigantic number? Well, let me help you. A billion seconds ago, it was 1959. A billion minutes ago, Jesus was walking the roads of the Holy Land. Nature is lavish in its billions. There are not one but a hundred billion nerve cells in one single human brain. These neutrons manage to cooperate in the most efficient harmony. They smoothly coordinate functions which are far more complex than the software of silver. The trusty computer on which I'm originally typing this message. My heartbeat, my breathing, my digestion, they all work well without understanding how. All the better, in fact, if I do not interfere with it with my thinking. If a hundred billion neutrons in my brain can act in harmony, should not a mere 6.5 billion human beings on our planet be able to work together in peace? Yes, I do believe this is indeed possible. We can channel into our social relations the cosmic intelligence that animates our bodies. The same energy that creates harmony within us will then also create peace among us. This is not wishful thinking. In fact, it starts with a suspension of all thinking, wishful or not, as a first step. And this brings us right back to the silent night. For silence is the key here, stillness. In stillness, we can step back and watch the trains of thought in our own minds running in circles like toy trains under the Christmas tree. And the moment we set, step back from our noisy thinking, wisdom, infinitely deeper than thought, begins to act through us, wisdom. It is the only force that can counteract our countdown 
as a self-endangered species. As soon as enough of us take this step back into stillness, the wisdom that guides the billion billion interactions in the cosmos will guide our human hearts too and will bring us all together in the peace that passes understanding. My dear friend, may we through stillness find this peace this Christmas time. This is my wish for you and it is my wish for all of us. Merry Christmas, dear friend, from the Chenoweth family to your family, and God bless you.